do you quickly create a connection with your audience through their emotions? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A common piece of advice from speaking coaches, including me, is that you want to create a connection with your audience. Connect with their emotions. Connect with their emotions. We say this in many different ways. This begs a very important question. How? How do you do that? One of the best and simplest tips I've ever gotten to do this comes from one of my early mentors, a gentleman named David Brooks, a previous world champion of public speaking. David says to connect deeply with an audience, to create that emotional bond, you have to appeal to at least one of six common emotions. Sadness, anger, fear, happiness, disgust, or surprise. Your story should tie into at least one of those and preferably more. Quick example for you. In some of these daily tips, you may have heard me speak about the day that I was forced to become a better speaker. I was sitting in my boss's office back in 1994. I was a certified financial planner and in full transparency and honesty, I was a bit cocky and arrogant about that. When I sat down in my manager's office, his first words to me were, we need to go over these evaluations from your last retirement planning workshop. My first thought was, this will be good. I nailed it. I've knocked the ball out of the park. He said to me, Michael, this isn't good. Well, what do you mean? This is just a sample of what some people are writing about you. Guy moves around too much. Does he ever stand still? Way too much information. I feel like I've been hit by a fire hose. Dude, slow down. My head is spinning. And he went on and on and on. I finally stopped him and I thought, Joe, is there anything good in there? Hmm. <laughs> Here's one. Mike has nice hair. My first thought was, well, maybe she left her name and number and I can salvage something out of this disaster. But I didn't say that because of the look on Joe's face. He said, you remember when we hired you, part of your job was to go out and get new clients to these workshops and seminars. Fix this or else. This clip offers three common emotions. Sadness, because I wasn't getting the feedback I expected. Surprise, not just because of the, the negative feedback, but the one positive I had to do with my hair. And definitely fear, because when Joe said, fix this or else, I knew my job was on the line. When I share this story with audiences, I feel a connection with them. They've been surprised and saddened by unexpected reviews or evaluations. They've definitely felt fear for jobs or it ties into fear of other kinds, maybe loss of a relationship or financial loss. Ultimately, this story isn't about a potential job loss. It's about the fear that I felt for my economic future and surprise that I wasn't as good as I thought. Everyone has feelings like that at some point and that's where the connection is made. Tie into your audience's feelings of sadness, anger, disgust, surprise, fear, or happiness, and you will make that deeper connection. That's how you do it. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.